Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with Tech Out, and we just finished WWDC a few hours ago, and I just finished my beta install live stream where I installed the beta on my iPhone, my iPad, my Mac, and my Apple Watch. Um, so I am running the beta on all my Apple devices, and yes, these are my main Apple devices. Um, I don't have any extras. I do have other devices if I need to use something else if there's an issue, but these are my main devices. I don't recommend you install these on your devices um, just quite yet. Beta 1 is a little bit stuttery here and there. I'll tell you that right off the right off the bat. Um, battery life, I don't really know yet because it is still new. The phone's still kind of updating. It was a very, very, very big update. I think it was like 13.6, 14-ish gigabytes on my iPhone 16 Pro Max here coming from the latest build of iOS 18. So very, very large update. I saw updates in the ranges from uh, like 13 gigs to 20 gigs. I think somebody, I mean, there were, there were large updates. Um, so there's a lot of stuff probably processing in the background. Um, let's go over the features everybody wants to know about first. Obviously, this is the home screen. This, this is the new uh, icon uh, look right here. They are not rounded icons like we, uh, like we saw rumored. Um, they are still the same shape, still the same size, but they do have the new glassy look, as you can see with the dock down here and everything. Um, I'll go into the settings right here for the icons. If we go to customize, um, we have the same settings as before. You can do the default, the dark, which you can do between auto and always, um, the clear, which you can do light, dark, or auto. Not really a huge fan of the clear. I kind of like some color in there, so I do like the dark. Um, that's probably my favorite one. You can still change it between large and small. Large still does remove the text underneath them. You cannot get rid of the text. Um, underneath them on the small, and then you can still do tinted. Again, not something that really grew on me. Hopping into settings here, uh, we can take a look at some of the new stuff. Um, the one thing I noticed in the battery here is we do have this bar at the top here. We did not get any kind of battery AI. That's been the biggest question I've been getting asked. Um, no charge times or anything like that. The only thing we do have is this bar up here um, that shows the battery percentage, level of charge right there, and the last charge uh, time or percentage and how long ago it was charged to that. Uh, the Mac did that. I don't think the iPhone did that. Um, it did, but it was it was laid out a little bit differently. Um, now we can see um, right here daily usage. Um, this kind of gives you insight into your daily usage. You're using more battery today than usually you do by 519. Um, and there is this uh, power mode down here called adaptive power. And this is a new feature. It says when your battery usage is higher than usual, iPhone can make small performance adjustments to extend your battery life including slightly lowering the display brightness or allowing some activities to take a little longer. So it basically kind of throttles the processor a little bit and um, might lower the display brightness if it notices you're using more battery than usual. So it seems like it might be something to kind of help you, uh, you know, if you're using your phone more, you kind of can end the day with, you know, some battery left over still or get, you know, have enough battery to get through the day uh, by limiting apps and stuff like that. Um, you can see some of these apps have little exclamation points, and that is showing that it was used uh, for 13 minutes longer than usual. Now, this being a new feature, I don't think that's quite learned yet, um, so it might be kind of weird at first until it kind of figures things out after the update. We'll go ahead and plug it in here, uh, and when you plug it in, you see we do get the charging uh, thing right here. I don't think, does it show the little eye? Okay, so when it's not plugged in, you don't get anything. You can't tap that, but when it is plugged into a charger, you can see you get the little eye here and you can tap this and it tells you about lithium ion batteries and it tells you about the charging, about how it fast charges to about 80% and then it trickle charges from 80 to 100%. So it gives you a little bit of information about charging there. Oh, it does tell you, it does show charging time. I did not see that until, until now. I'm gonna have to screenshot that to share it. And when I do that, we'll see the new screenshot menu right here. Um, so we don't have any of the Apple intelligence stuff down here. I don't see it yet. Uh, but we're going to save that to photos. So it does show you how long until the time uh, is completed. It just doesn't show you how long, uh, how much battery is remaining. Does it do it on the home screen? Don't think we get anything on the home screen. Nothing that I see on the home screen, but it does look like it does show uh, time to charge in the settings. So that is pretty cool. I'm going to share that on X right after this video. Um, so there's that. Um, this is what the new settings looks like. We have, you know, um, if you go into a menu here, instead of the big bar at the top, we've got 
you know, the little back thing. We do have a new keyboard right here. This is only working in system system apps right now, like messages, phone, settings, all that kind of stuff. It's not working in third-party apps right now, so I guess they're gonna have to get updated with the new keyboard layout. I think that's how it was back when we went from iOS 6 to 7. Uh, the app developers had to use the new, the new layout, but I really like how this keyboard looks, um, so I can't wait for apps to start using that um, in the near future. But I really, really like how it looks. It's running pretty smooth. I've got some more playing around to do. Uh, you can see the, um, the notifications here how they're kind of glassy, they're kind of see-through. I like that, it's unobtrusive. You've got the control center right here. Um, so those are just some of my favorite features here on iOS uh, 26 right off the bat. I just wanted to make this video kind of a, a first impressions and a, kind of a, you know, my favorite things. Um, like I said, I've got more playing around to do. There's a ton of new features that Apple didn't talk about um, that I'm gonna have to learn and, and find and stuff like that, just like the charge time. Um, so. I'm going to uh, go ahead and upload this so you guys can see it uh, right after my Mac is updating to, uh, done updating to the beta. Um, but that is kind of the gist of iOS 26 and the new design language. Uh, I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.